Hi everyone. Today we'll see how to print random values using random dot range. To do that, I have a new scene. I'll just add a script. I'll name it as random range. Just add it and open the script. Here, let's just start with an example. I want to print a value of a number, so I'll have a variable with the name number of type in, and at the start I will assign a value twenty five to the number, and I'll just print the value of the number. Since I've assigned twenty five as a value for the number, the output will be twenty five. Just save the script and click on play. You can see the number of the value is twenty five. Twenty five is the value that we had assigned. Now, what if I want a random number, not twenty five, but a random number to be printed? To do that, I will use random dot range, and I will provide the minimum and maximum value between which my number should be printed. Here, I will be giving one comma. Ten. I want a value that is between one and ten. Any random value will be printed here. So just click on save. And click on play here. Value is one here, which is between one and ten. So now, what if I want to print ten values? Ten different values. I want it to be printed. To do that, let's have a for loop. For int i is equal to one, I want my value to start with one, and I want to print ten values. So i is less than or equal to ten, and i plus plus. And here in the for loop, I will print the value of i with the text. The value of i is. Plus i. Here, the value of i will be printed ten times, starting from one to ten sequentially. Just save this thread. Click on play. The output that is starting from one to ten. Now, what if I want ten values to be printed, but it should be random values, not a sequential number? So to do that, instead of i, I can write it as random dot range, and I can provide it the minimum and maximum value. That is, here I will be giving one comma twenty. You can give Whatever values you want, and my ten values will be between one and twenty here. So click on play button. Here you can see ten random values, which are not sequential. So this is how you use 
random dot range to print random values guys so if you feel this is useful to you please do like share and subscribe thank you